What's up, everyone? All right, tonight I am very excited. One of my most anticipated boots this year, pairs of boots this year. This is a pair of Benzene Engineers, straight from Indonesia. And uh, here we go, we'll get into the unboxing. Um, you know, I don't always like to do the unboxing videos. Um, well, one, it's hard, you know, the, the anticipation. Once you get that box, it's like, man, want to rip it open. So these actually came pretty late in the day. And then um, it's like almost 8.30. So it's perfect. Um, all right, so the normal box there. And looks like we got tight squeeze. So it's like the shoe box is bubble wrapped here. It's nice. I'm pretty stoked, guys. Uh, these are actually my first boots from Indonesia. Um, I really like what Benzene does. Um, Audi is super nice to talk to uh, on Instagram. Um, super responsive, super knowledgeable. Just a nice guy, easy to talk to. Um, and uh, I really love what Benzene does with their laceless boots. So, you know, they're known for their Chelsea's, pretty well known for their Chelsea boots. Um, they're known for their side zips and their engineers. And this is actually the new design. This is the type two design on the new last with a couple new details that we'll run through. Um, pretty exciting. So here, here we go. All right. Benzene. All right, nice. Uh, branded shoe bags the boots are wrapped up in plastic too wow look at that get these bags out of the way here So these, as you can tell, these are like a short shift engineer. Um, you know, like the, the Viber short shift is a, it's an eight inch, eight inch tall engineer. And uh, the leather is pretty special. So that's a really nice box. It's like, it's like hard, hard, um, you know, cardboard, card stock. That's a, a really nice shoe box um man, these boots are sweet so these are yes as you can tell these are eight inch engineer this is shinky haikaku brown oiled horse butt and this is cool leather look at all that grain dr soul soul raw full cord these things are pretty light and i was i was a little worried these were going to be pretty heavy but they're pretty light they are sleek sleek boots um that's gonna fall hey we're doing it live here folks so yeah this so again these are the uh the keeper this is the actual name of the, like you know the model name so the keeper eight inch engineer this is on the kapok K A P A K Cap Capic Capoc Capoc Last. Um, these are a size 42 and a half. Not sure how they're gonna fit. Uh, hopefully, hopefully pretty good. I'm about a Brannick 10 and a half C. Um, I sent Audi um, not tracings, but uh, very detailed measurements. This is what he suggested. Um, you know, he's a professional. I trust. Uh, I trusted his sizing advice. He does this day in day out so hopefully they fit if not hey they might be for sale i'll just have them remade because <laughs> they're sweet i want them um so these uh have just uh 
That's the tonal upper stitching. It's like a light brown color. Um, yeah, as you can see there, light brown color. Um, these are black half lines. So yeah, that lining stops like, I guess it's just this, this vamp piece is lined and it feels nice and smooth. Um, so it's half lined with black. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the, the leather on that. Um, and there's no midsole folks. So this is something that uh, comes up in discussion a lot with the Indonesian makers. You know, what constitutes a midsole? What is actually just the welt? And so this is a 270 degree flat welt. So as you can see, this flat welt is stitched, hand stitched. Mind you, check out that SPI. That's some pretty serious SPI there for hand stitching. Um, but this is the welt. That is not a midsole. So that is the welt. It, it, uh, it looks like a midsole. It's what most Americans would think would be a midsole, but that's actually the welt. So if you go with a single midsole, you would have this layer, which is the welt, and then another layer of leather, and then this full outsole. If you went with a double midsole, you end up with three layers of this leather. It looks really chunky. Um, so as it sits, this is, you know, you see that in there, a veg tan insole, and then your, your flat welt, and then there's a cavity, you know, it's either filled with cork or leather, um, and then this outsole. And so that's it, that's what you're standing on. Um, I went with the no midsole because I think it looks really sleek and I was, I wanted just a, you know, very sleek, short, slim engineer, um, nothing too chunky. Uh, I feel like for me, for the engineers, you know, there's a lot going on already with that, that buckle. And so I think too chunky for my style sometimes doesn't always work. Um, I've had John Lofker and engineers, I've had Wesco Boss, 7500s and the Wesco Mr. Lou engineers. And I actually don't have any of those anymore. Um, I just, I like them, I like the idea of them, but I just couldn't, I couldn't confidently wear them, I guess, in my wardrobe. Um, but I really appreciate engineers, so I'm really hoping that these are the ticket, that something slim and just kind of simple is is what I'm, what I'm needing. Um, the, uh, the welt and the edge color is natural on these. Um, they are an unstructured toe box. That toe box is slim. I mean, look how slim that toe box is. So slim, unstructured and, uh, woodsman heels. And I feel like benzene of all the Indonesian guys, uh, well, I guess, you know, maybe, uh, Underhood, um, but benzene does some of the best heels, some of the best woodsman heels. So sometimes they're, uh, a little too curved, call them kind of like a, like a crescent moon heel or something, um, a little bit too much. So these are, I think these are perfect. Um, I'm gonna adjust this camera down. This guy, sorry for the, the shake cam. Let me get you a little better angle here. Um, so what do you guys think? Would you rock a short engineer? I know uh, my buddy Jake, almost vintage style. I know these are pretty blasphemous uh, engineers he's he's all about the full height that 10 inch 9 inch 10 inch 11 inch engineer um but you know it's hidden under the pant leg <laughs> who, who really cares right i'm not i'm not a purist so i think they look cool um oh a nice rolling um so i guess a, a few of the notes about this new last here um you know it's it's slimmer it's got a more square toe um, I believe the the old like the the quote old last was the uh, Kujang last, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so, you know, it's just it's just it's a totally new toe shape. Um, has more of that like Wesco Mr. Lou kind of the MP toe. It's like round, but it's still like kind of square. Um, this angle of inclination here on this bottom strap. Is a little bit higher up. It's supposed to hit your ankle a little bit better. 
And these are new buckles too on the Type 2. So this is a new, very sleek, thin buckle there. Um, so that's new for the Type 2s. And I guess it's denotated here by this uh, second row of stitching there. So that's, that's how you know you got a Type 2 is if you got two rows of stitching, one, two right there. You can still get these with the old style buckle. Um, I, I think these are just a little more sleek. I think they look good. Um, I think the strap is maybe a little bit longer too on these type twos. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, I'm dying to put these on, find out if they fit. Um, feel this shinky Haikaku brown oil horse butt on my feet. Man, I am stoked. These are pretty sweet boots. Again, my first pair of Indonesian boots, first pair of Benzines. I already have a second pair on order. Some uh, some side zips you guys will be seeing in uh, about four to five months. Um, I guess, yeah, I should note. So today is September 27th and I ordered these April 16th. So, uh, you know, a little over five months. Um, I think had the Thunderdome not been a thing and a bunch more orders flooded in. I think these would have been done closer probably to about four months. But either way, four to five months for, you know, fully, fully specced out handmade boot from Indonesia. Um, that's still pretty good. So cheers to Adi and the team there at Benzene. Thank you guys for your beautiful work, man. These things are just so clean stitching is super tidy and i love that that little back detail that stitch there just looks so cool um they do a great job these are cool boots all right everyone i will catch you on the next one take it easy